Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to our latest update in June. We are very happy to announce that the character editor has been updated to version 7. We added a couple of randomization functions and the character editor tools utility widget directly inside the editor. If you go straight to base widgets EUW character editor tools you will find this little widget if you go with the right click run editor utility widget as you can see it loads all the packages which are registered I'm gonna go back into an um, editor view and you have to place the package registry inside the level and he loads then all reg registered packages into the um, package registry it helps a lot if you just want to um, debug things and want to load a few of these packages and then um, the loading times will be a lot faster right now okay so and if you go to load cdas he collects all the required data here's the instruction select a customizable character to edit we're going to select our character editor and he is right now set to anatomy meta human male tall normal weight apparel type go to military citizen mixed and if you hit the apparel button everything gets randomized let me go back to game view and let's make this full screen yeah and here you can see you can do the similar behavior what you also have in the real-time mode with the editor ui but you can here um, preview and debug things without going always in play mode uh, i think it's very important for a developer to iterate fast on things and it helps a lot if you don't need to always run into game mode to debug things and the trash bin button is for re remove current cda setup so it means the apparel slot is getting emptied yeah and this is working also with all different types of picks as uh, shown before we also had like the spot collection it's also ported on the ue5 mannequin or backslash meta human and same applies here for the citizens i just have here in the editor a few examples but the complete citizen pack with uh, firefighters chef police waiters different citizens is also ported over and this applies as well also for um, the whole heavy armor setup and all medieval parts barbarians are also ported and this is all done on the meta human uh, ue5 mannequin yeah and same applies if you uh, would go into the um, female this um, here now I, I selected a different skeleton our female ue4 um, mannequin and you can also have here the different types of uh, collections which you can now select and um, deselect here for example some of the barbarian costumes yeah and all the fantasy armor and yeah this is just for you to showcase that it works also with all the different types of um, skeletons okay we also added um, a little anatomy update so a few customers were requesting that we are able to put in multiple heads um, compared to one master head you will find this change of data in the data table for example i duplicated here the v7 into a v8 and let me pull that over <clears throat> and here you can see we have the um meter human male tall i'm going to use this one right now and we have on um, the mesh head slot we have multiple indexes now before we always had one master head with morph targets for head variations and you are now able to plug in different types of heads which i did here with some uh, meta human example heads um, i was plugging in the heads in different indices and if we just gonna go in right now and select for example the tall one i gonna hit the play button voila and now you can see we have here different types of um, faces which you um, could load let me just dress them up a little bit and okay and here if you go to the uh, faces now you can load different meta human heads as well if you want to i mean it was the same uh, 
it's a similar behavior if, if you would go with our um, basic humanoid one and here you have the variants uh, as well with different types of um, heads and i'm also very 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 gl glad to announce that we updated our documentation as well um, we had our old pdf and we do believe it's not valid for such a complex system anymore and therefore we decided to give this product um, the right format uh, with a proper dynamic documentation where you also have like direct links and you, you can easily now um, read things through instead of one big PDF with 90 pages. So it was also a huge update for us to port all the documentation over, um, which is now here. We also want to uh, create and add more tutorials um, to support some special needs that might not be clarified right now. Um, so there are already many ideas from all the previous communications um, about solving a few uh, minor issues. And yeah, so just be with us that it leads a little bit more time that we can make it 100% work. But we do believe it's, it's definitely a, a big update right now in regarding to support um, yeah, customer documentation. Okay, yeah, that's it mainly from my side for June. I want to keep this one pretty short. Uh, we hope you guys that um, everything is fine with you and we want to thank you all for your dedicated support and we are looking forward to see your final products also in the future and feel free to leave us a message or drop us a line and i'm gonna wish you all a pretty great day adios <laughs>